When should you start running paid ads in your business? This is a question that I commonly get from a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with because they're all very excited to run advertising to try and get more clients and make more money. But should you run paid advertising and at which stage should you do so? In this video, I'm gonna answer this question to hopefully help you in your business so you can scale at the right time and be successful. Let's dive right in. So the first thing that you have to know about advertising is that advertising can never take an unsuccessful business and turn it into a successful business. Advertising is kind of like jet fuel. It's kind of like nitrous that you plug into a sports car. It can only take an already successful business and when you add that jet fuel and that nitrous, it's gonna allow that business to go much faster just like it allows that car to go much faster at hyper speed. Now with advertising, really what it does is it's going to magnify what's already happening in your business. So let's say that you're someone who just started their online business right now. Maybe you've started an online store, an e-commerce store, or maybe you've started a coaching business or a consulting business or you're selling online courses and you're realizing that you're not really getting a lot of clients. You're posting on social media, you're sharing content every day, you're you know, sharing value, you're going on lives, but you're not really getting any traction. And you're thinking to yourself, well, maybe this organic thing isn't working. Maybe social media isn't working for me. Maybe I should just go and run Facebook ads and that's the only way to make money. Now, the truth is Facebook ads does help you make more money, but it's not gonna help you fix a broken business. If right now in your business, you're just starting off and you're not yet successful, running paid ads is a big mistake. You're gonna end up losing a lot of money and you're gonna spend a lot of money in vain and really feel the sting once you realize that it's not getting you the results that you're looking for. Because Facebook ads or YouTube ads or Google ads, they're not a magic potion. Again, like we mentioned earlier, they're really just a tool or a way for you to help really scale and, and, and grow your business, which is already working well, it's already successful and it's already going well. So what are some steps that you can do? What is it that you should do if you're in that stage? You're in the early stages, you're struggling to get clients, you're struggling to essentially make money and, and generate sales, and you're really looking at what are some possible solutions? Well, what I recommend for you is, number one, before you run paid ads, you wanna figure out what is it that you're doing that is not exactly resonating with your potential customers? Because if you take what you're already doing right now and you put money behind it by running advertising, you're just now magnifying this, this problem that already exists in your business, which is you're not getting clients and people are not resonating with your message or with your products or with your services or with your branding. So there's clearly an issue there. So first you have to figure out, figure that out. If you have an online store, you have to look at, is my website really optimized for conversions? Do I have everything that I need to have there? Does it look professional? Do people go on the website and do they feel like they can trust me in my business? Do I look like a trustworthy merchant? If you're a coach or a consultant, you wanna look at yourself and your branding. How do you position yourself? What kind of uh, solution are you offering to your clients? And how do you market that solution? How do you talk about that solution? Maybe you have the wrong pain points. Maybe you have the wrong image in your mind of who your clients are and what it is that they're supposed to like and maybe what it is that they want out of you know the working with you and the services that you provide. So it's really important first to figure out your product market fit. Okay, so the product market fit in your business. It's really important to figure out how your product fits into your markets. You really wanna get these two compatible. Okay, if you, don't, if you haven't achieved yet product market fit in your business, if your product didn't resonate with your markets, you're not generating sales already, advertising won't solve that problem. It's just gonna make it bigger because now not only are you not making sales, but you're spending money that you don't have to continue losing money, which is a really bad idea. So here's my recommendation. First, figure out what is exactly wrong in your business that's preventing you from landing clients and making money right now. Now, once your business is gaining traction, if you're at a stage and you're watching this where you don't have that issue and you have clients and you have sales, it's just not enough. 
you're just generating a few sales every month or you're just you know landing a few clients every month and it's not enough to help you scale the business to help you hire a team to help you you know get to the next level well that's the point in time where you need to start advertising that's the point in time where you already have a semi-successful business because there's clients paying for your services your products and you've already proved that there's interest in what it is that you have to offer and so now you just need to show it to more people you need to get more eyeballs on your product or service and that's where advertising is really going to help you you can start to run facebook ads and youtube ads and google ads or whichever platform that you really like to be able to scale your business and take it to the next level so remember that advertising cannot take a broken business it cannot take an unsuccessful business and turn it into a successful business Okay, if you already have a problem in your business that you need to solve, you need to solve that problem first. If you've never landed a client, Facebook ads is not going to help you land a client. You have to first figure out what do I need to do to land a client? Why is it that what I'm doing right now is not resonating? However, if you're already landing a few clients now, the advantage is that you can take the money that you're making from those clients. You can take some of the profits that you're generating in your business and you can invest them towards advertising. Now, one word of warning for you guys is don't ever expect that your first few weeks or your first few months even of advertising are gonna be very successful. Advertising, just like anything else, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of work, and takes a lot of effort to figure out. So you need to really take your time to run those ads and test a bunch of different possibilities and you know combinations within your advertising to really figure out what it is that's going to help you garner and generate the most success within your business so you can generate the most sales. So remember that it's a process and that's why also if you're starting from scratch and you don't have any profits to reinvest into advertising, advertising can really start to make a dent in your wallet quickly. It can really start to drain your savings and your money. However, if you already have a successful business and you're just reinvesting some of the profits towards advertising, that's completely okay. You can continue doing so without necessarily losing any of your personal money. So that's what I always recommend. This is what I tell my students to do. Start running ads as soon as you feel like you're landing clients consistently in your business and you're seeing some success and you're seeing that what you're doing is working, now you can start plugging in some advertising to really scale that machine, scale that business and take it to the next level, inshallah. So I hope that this video was beneficial. I hope that you have a better idea of when is a good time to start running ads for your business. And of course, feel free to check out all the links below this video. There's some helpful links on trainings and calls and things that we offer. And of course, please make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Right now in our analytics, it says that about 85% of people that watch these videos aren't subscribed. So I'm not sure what you guys are doing, but please go ahead and subscribe and support us because we're a very small channel, but it takes us a lot of time to film these videos just so we can help you out and give you some value. So I hope that you benefited. Please go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on everything that I shared? Are you going to start advertising or did I maybe help you avoid, you know, a big loss of money by watching this video? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one, inshallah. Take care guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.